report. 300 Oracle employees walk out over Ellison's Trump fundraiser in California. The Trump administration just sided with Oracle in its legal battle with Google. Okay, well, there you go. Let's see what happened. About 300 Oracle employees walked off the job on Thursday to protest founder and executive chairman Larry Ellison's decision to hold a fundraiser for Donald Trump. The previous evening, Bloomberg reports, it was a rare sign of dissent for a company known for its stodgy corporate culture. I don't even know what a stodgy corporate culture means. But the circumstances of the small-scale protest also suggest that Ellison has less reason to worry about future employees' revolts than some of his fellow tech moguls. Okay, I've read the whole article. It doesn't really go into much detail of of what that means. Because here it says, uh, once again, less reason to worry about future employee revolts than some of his fellow tech moguls. See, this sentence kind of tilts either direction, talking about revolts at other companies, and it doesn't mean that. It means fighting with the other tech moguls, not the employees rebelling against their employer. So it's a really misdirective sentence because it has the alternate meanings in the same verbiage. Okay, now, the protest called No Ethics, No Work. Wow. Oh, lefties. Involved about 300 employees walking out of their offices or stopping work at remote locations at noon local time and devoting the rest of the day to volunteering or civic engagement, Bloomberg reports. Bloomberg source asked not to be named for fear of retaliation. Well, I wonder why. Volunteering or civic engagement. As if that matters when you go to your job and then you walk off your boss doesn't really give a hoot, nanny, where you went when you walked off in rebellion, not an emergency, in rebellion. You could go fishing. You could fly to the freaking moon. You could kiss a baby on the sidewalk. It doesn't matter. You just walked off your job in rebellion. It doesn't matter what you do. But it, oh, no, I did it for a higher purpose. No, you did it out of rebellion, and this is your excuse, and it sucks. Oracle has more than 130,000 employees, so a walkout by 300 workers is hardly a serious threat to the company. Really? So... If you're a human being with millions of cells, the fact that you have only 300 cancer cells, it's not really that bad. Why do you compare it to cancer? Because cancer means that you, assuming that it's not benign, means that it spreads, that it walks around and infects the rest of the body. 300 out of 130,000, that is not a minor amount. That is a poison. That is a virus that must be cut out and removed. And if they don't fire them, then then they're wow. Then if if they don't fire them, then you get what you ask for. Because if you tolerate three hundred employees walking out on their job in full scale rebellion, screaming "No works, no ethics, no ethics, no work," okay. Fine. Take your ethics across the street. Get a job over there. We're going to hire people that actually show up for work and do their work and don't leave in the middle of the day because they're uncomfortable with our company. Well, we're uncomfortable with you because you didn't do your job. You can hate Ellison all day long for what? Hanging out with Trump. But you better be pushing those buttons and scratching that pencil where it belongs to be done. It's that simple. Do your job. We'll get along just fine. Boy, there's an ethic that's surely missing from most workplaces now. How many times did you hear about this happening when Obama was president? That's right. Never. Never did you see employees who didn't agree with him walking out when their bosses were hanging out with him. And Obama hangs out with all. The Hollywood types galore, and he hangs out with the tech people galore, and you never seen people walking out. 
It's disgusting how people think that having President Donald J. Trump is an excuse to act in the most vulgar, rebellious, pathetic manner. It almost reminds you why the word manners is in there. Because manners have been forgotten. They love to blame Trump for everything. Oh, Trump said this. Trump said that. Trump said that. What are you doing? You're walking off of your job. Screaming no work. Or no ethics, no work. That wasn't Trump. That was you. Over and over and over again. There are just all these examples. We all know. And if you don't know, you can look it up quite easily that you are not in danger of wearing. If you wear an Obama shirt, you're not in danger walking anywhere. You're not. But if you put a MAGA hat on, you physically put yourself in harm's way for the sitting president. When I was going to university and there were all these people wearing their Obama shirts after he was elected and all these schools were named Obama. When he hadn't done a single thing yet. He hadn't even destroyed the economy. He didn't destroy the economy. George W. Bush destroyed the economy. Well, Obama did very, very little to help it. No, he did the economy that Trump had for the last three years. Yeah, and he also did everything, everything bad that happened under his eight years of presidency. That was George W. Bush's fault. I've never seen a guy work so hard to prove he didn't exist until the next president's term. Because during the eight years of Obama, it was George W. Bush, George W. Bush. It was his fault. It was his fault for eight years. It's like, so you're not really in office? George Bush is still in office? And now that Donald Trump is in office and is having a fabulous time deregulating, getting rid of all those rules that were ridiculous, like saying that a puddle in your front yard was a waterway and could be regulated from... That's not an exaggeration. Many people had to go to court and eventually to the Supreme Court to say that a puddle in my yard is not a waterway and can be controlled by the federal government. Not an exaggeration. And... Now that Trump is having all these successes by reversing all the horror that was the Obama administration, Trump, Obama wants to say that, oh, by reversing all of my rules, you got all the success. Well, that's my fault. That's my economy. Apparently, all those drugs that Obama bragged about doing in college in his biography, apparently he's still doing them because that's the only way to explain it. So... If you work for Oracle and you walked out, I hope, everybody hopes that works there, you get fired. That is unacceptable work behavior. There was no emergency. It was you throwing a fit. And if you think 300 people out of 130,000 won't be a contagion, then you get what you ask for. Thanks for watching. Really, thanks for watching. Mean it. And we'll see you in the future.